What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. So today we'll be talking about workspace, how I created my ideal workspace for efficiency and how you can create yours. Let's begin. One of the features that I love about Photoshop is the ability to create your own workspace or modify the one that you have currently. You can add tools that you need that are not originally available or remove the tools that you don't need that are available in the current workspace. To assess the different workspace that are available already in Photoshop, you just come to the top right hand corner of the screen, you see this button, just click on it and you see the different workspace. So mine, I already created my own workspace and that's why you can see it here. Um, brand new more. When you install Photoshop for the first time, the default workspace is the essentials and this is what it will look like. This is not appealing to me because all the tools that I don't need and everything is here is just clustered. See, oh, I don't even use any of these stuffs. If you're a photographer, for example, you can change to the photography workspace. So they have done the good work of getting rid of the tools that you may not need as a photographer and keeping those ones that they feel you need as a photographer. If you're into web designing, you can select web design and graphics and you notice that the tools that are available here are tools that will be more appealing to a graphic designer. So we'll start from the photography workspace and mode my own workspace. To create your own workspace, just click on here and select new workspace. Let's call it demo. You can choose to save the keyboard shortcut that you use in this workspace, the menus and the toolbars and then click on save. Now. The new workspace will be based on the previous workspace. So since I was using the photography workspace, this new workspace is still just like the photography workspace, but anything that I change here will not affect the photography workspace. It will be saved to the demo workspace. I know I'm a photographer, but I don't use the histogram. So I'll get rid of the histogram. To get rid of any tool, you just right click on it and select close. If you want to remove the entire tab, you just right click and select on close tab group and all those things will be gone. I like my my layers to be on top. So I'll take it up here. Why I like it on top is that I can easily access all these icons and tools at the bottom and I can easily see all the layers that I have active. And I like it being in front. Then after my layers is the is the history. As you can notice there is no history tab here right now. So if you want to add any new tab that is not available in the workspace you go to window and select it this is history I'll click on history it will show up here I'll drag it and take it up here and just keep it just after the layers that way if I'm working on the layer and maybe I add something and I want to toggle between the current and the previous state I just select the history and then go back very easy for me I love it that way it may not be the same for you so you customize it your own way I don't use the library tab so I'll close it then another thing that I like is my actions. I use actions a lot. So I'll just bring my actions down here and move it around. I know by now you should have gotten the hang of it, like how to remove tabs and place new tabs and keep it where you want. If you don't want it by the side like this, you can equally, let's say I want the history, history tab again. Okay, this is a history tab already. Let's say I tab that is not here already. Um, properties tab. If you don't want it to be down here, you can just remove it and it will be floating anywhere on the screen. You can drag it around. So if you prefer keep it, keeping your properties tab here, you can just leave it up here and you can press this button to collapse it. That way it's much smaller and you can just suspend them all over the screen. Another thing that is very important or that I love doing in my workspace is to remove the tools that I don't use or may never use and then separate the ones that I use more often and to do that you just go to the edit go down to where you see toolbar click on it in this toolbar you notice that the tools like in the foot if it was in the essential workspace everything would be here but since they have done the same since, since they have taken time to get rid of some of the tools that a photographer may not need you notice that some tools are in the extra tool so if there is any tool that you need that is not in the toolbar currently you see it in the extra tools and from there all you have to do is drag it to the toolbar as you can see there it will appear down here see it here and if i drag it out it's gone 
you can remove something from a group or you can add a tool to a group one tool that i noticed was missing in the photography workspace was the mixer brush tool and i use it a lot for frequency separation so all i had to do was drag it from here and keep it just outside the brush tool group because i don't want it to be hidden i want it to be separate that way it will be easier for me to click on it so once you notice the tools that you don't use you just get rid of them i don't use this blow and smudge tool and then click on ok that way tools will just pile up here that you don't use the essential ones the ones that you use all the time will be here and the ones you don't use will be gotten rid of so that's how i customize my own work tool i can even make this bigger yeah you see that way and then make it float so there's a lot of ways you can customize your own work workspace and make it your ideal workspace you just have to mold it slowly anything that you notice maybe you don't like where this thing is placed you can move it around and over time you notice that you prefer it at certain places that's how you mold your own workspace you pick the things that you don't like remove it from where you don't like them and keep them where you like them and after a couple of months you notice that you prefer certain tools at certain places and that's how your own workspace will come to be that's how I came about mine and any PC that I work with I always customize the workspace to look like mine so that I'll be able to work efficiently because the way I customize my workspace helps me to move between items subconsciously I don't have to worry about where a tool is located because it's already registered in my brain all I have to do is just use the tool to get the results that I want so that's it for this video guys i hope you learned a thing or two if there is any question or any comment just leave it down there in the comment section if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up share it with your friends that may need it and smash the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out so you don't miss out on further videos see you guys in the next one